the country. Well, I prefer the town. Mm -hmm. When we put our heads together, we're the best combination around. Emily and Alexander, really quite a pair. Wherever there's adventure, you'll find these two cousins there. We like to visit relatives. Oh, and making friends is fun. Yep, excitement seems to find us. Alexander, we're on an expedition with the famous archaeologist Flinders Petrie. Maybe we'll find the tomb of one of the kings of ancient Egypt. It is exciting, but I think the Egyptians called their kings pharaohs. Isn't that right, Cousin Anwar? Correct. And if Professor Petrie finds the tomb of Pharaoh Camus, then maybe we will find the tomb of his friend Otep, the legendary mouse pharaoh. A mouse pharaoh? Amazing! Yes, when Camus and Otep died, their bodies were buried together. Now their mummies lie waiting to be discovered. Do you think we'll find the mummies today? We might, and we might find some golden treasures that are 5,000 years old. Golden treasures? Mummies? Oh, I can't wait! This will look terrific in our photo album. Hold still! But we must be careful. Today we will search a tomb that will be dark and full of many dangers. Don't be afraid for us, Anwar. Caution is our watchword. Smile! Emily! Oh, watch, watch out! out. Wow! Hold on, Emily! Alexander! Help! Whoa! Wow. Thank you, Rabia. My pleasure, but hang on. My father says we must hurry. What's the rush? The treasure's already been buried for 5,000 years. Look! There is the reason. The Aswan Dam has been completed. Now the Nile River will back up behind the dam, and soon it will flood the tomb. We must work quickly, or the priceless treasures will be lost forever. We would have been too late if we hadn't hitched a ride with Petrie's expedition. I can't believe it. Emily and Alexander, what are those two troublemakers doing here? Hmm, they're traveling with that famous mouse Egyptologist, Professor Anwar, what's his name? Very interesting. They must be after the Mouse Pharaoh's treasure, too. Well, <laughs> they're in for a nasty surprise. Yosef, today is our last chance to search for the riches of the Pharaoh Camus. You are right, Professor Petrie. The water will rise fast now, and we must hurry. The perfect plan. I'll kidnap Professor Anwar and make him lead me right to the Mouse Pharaoh's treasure. <laughs> Today, men, we must all search for the burial chamber. It will hold the Pharaoh's treasures. Yosef, work quickly and make sure all the men get out safely if the tomb floods. Rabia, we'll be back as soon as we can. Stay there and stay out of harm's way. Rabia, I bet I know what you're thinking. You want to search for the burial chamber of Camus the Boat Faro yourself. Yes, Anwar. You know how much I want to study archaeology someday, but father won't let me. Why not? In my village, girls and women are only allowed to cook and clean. But if I can help find the Faro's treasures, maybe father will change his mind. Well, we may not be archaeologists, but we're great at finding things. We'll help you. Let's try this entrance. Come on. We must be very quiet. Why is that? Look. That's the ugliest wallpaper I've ever seen. Aha. Uh -huh. Now's my chance to kidnap Anwar. <laughs> Oh! 
pay for nothing, they're bats! Oh, no! <laughs> Watch out! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Now, listen here, you. Don't you know it's impolite to swoop at guests? We didn't mean to disturb your afternoon nap! Emily, they're leaving! Let go! Whoa. Okay! Don't me! Catch me! Thank you, Alexander. Great! Those bats were a big help. Now I'll have to think of something else to nab, Anwar. Good! They're gone! Look! The bats were covering up a message written in hieroglyphics! Rabia, maybe these hieroglyphics will give us a clue to finding the Pharaoh's burial chamber! Oh no! Part of it is missing! Can you read hieroglyphics? Yes! Anwar taught me! Instead of writing in words, the ancient Egyptians told their stories with pictures. I'll translate. Be you mighty or be you meek? If Great Camus is whom you seek. Be not afraid to... something, something. The rest of the line of the picture is worn away. And you will find the Pharaoh's prize. I'm sure we could find the burial chamber if we had the missing line. Look, this tiny figure with Camus is a mouse. The legend is true. This is Pharaoh Camus. Once he was captured by enemies and thrown into the Nile River, the mouse Otep saw him drowning. Otep gnawed through the mooring rope of a boat tied to a dock, the current carried the boat to Farukamus, who struggled aboard. All right, the old bat trick didn't work, but this time I know how to capture Anwar. Yes, Camus rewarded the mouse by making him far off all the mice in Egypt. It is said that Otep was buried with many treasures near Camus himself. So, if we find Camus, then we'll find Otep the mouse pharaoh. Let's go! Hmm. Be not afraid to eat some pies, and you will find the Pharaoh's prize. Wear bow ties, cross your eyes, tell no lies. me. Come on, be good little mice and fall into my trap. Mm. This cat looks like it's about to lose a tooth. <gasps> Why, it's a hidden passageway. Let's see where it leads. Come on, Rabia. I can hardly get my big toe in there. You go in and tell me what you find. Rabia, there's a huge chamber in here. It's even big enough for you. Keep exploring. I'll try and find another way to get in. You? Certainly no one's dusted here for thousands of years. The Egyptians set many booby traps to protect the tombs from looters. Then, Alexander, almost getting squished means we must be on the right track. Get out! Get out! Leave this place! Somebody's trying to scare us out. Yes, but two can play at that game. Follow me. <laughs> Imagine anyone falling for the old ghostly voice routine. Rats! Intruder! Ye have angered the guardians of the tomb! Leave that one! Yeah! A ghost! Huh? Oh no! Yikes! That rat lost his tail! Oh no! There's only one rat I know who loses his tail. No, no tail, no, no good Nick. Who is he? He's an international thief and an all-around dirty rat. I'll bet he's searching for Otep's treasure too. If he finds it first, he'll steal it for himself. Whoa! 
Anwar, look at these! These are the same hieroglyphics as before, only the third glyph is intact. If you would seek the Pharaoh's prize, be not afraid to raise your eyes. Hmm. So we should look up. I don't see a thing. Now, you're going to find the Pharaoh's treasure for me. Do you see anything, Anwar? Anwar? He... he's gone. Wait a minute. A fake rat tail. That no good, no good Nick has snatched Anwar. We've got to rescue him. Anwar? Anwar! Alexander! I just saw something move over there. Anwar! Anwar! Huh? It's not Anwar! It's Scorpions! Run! <laughs> it's just you and me and the treasure now, Anwar. <laughs> So long, do-gooders. Rat! That was supposed to pin those two pesky mice. Not me, you hooked monsters! Go get those mice! Speak now, or your mousy pals are, shall we say, ancient history. You wouldn't dare! Anwar said the ancient Egyptians buried the pharaoh's treasures with him. But there's nothing here except a wooden wall. What would Anwar do if he were here? Hmm. Be not afraid to raise your eyes. Alexander, it isn't a wooden wall. It's the pharaoh's boat from the story. It's the Pharaoh's treasures! And this little boat must be the last resting place of Otep the Mouse Pharaoh. This other little boat isn't full of treasure. It's full of bones. Anwar told me they often put fake treasure in these tombs. To confuse would be thieves. They couldn't have been very smart thieves not to notice. Now we have to find Anwar and figure out how to get the real treasure out of here. Come on. Get back up! Professor, the water is coming in the tomb entrance! Then Kamasa's burial chamber will be lost forever! Get the men out before it's too late! Emily, look! Yeah. I wanted to find a mummy, but I thought mummies were dead! Yeah. Okay, push! Good one, Alexander! Run! Oh no! I'm not afraid of you! 
Are you all right? I'm fine. Just a little dizzy. All right. Now I'll take care of you. You and your 20 identical twins. Not so fast, my nefarious furry foe. You know, uh, uh, say, uh, you want to hear a knock-knock joke? Save your breath. Knock-knock. Alexander, don't. I can't resist. Who's there? Slip. Slip who? Slip and fall, you fools. <laughs> that was the worst knock-knock joke I ever heard. It's no use running away. We'll find you. We've got to save the treasure from that looter. We found Otak's treasure and we're taking it to the museum where it belongs. So give up. Oh, fiddlesticks. Foil the game. Careful. It's a trick. <laughs> Thanks for leading me to the treasure. And now all I have to do is get Otep's burial boat off and away. There is not much time before the entire tomb is flooded. Raise your eyes. Maybe this will open a secret passage to the burial chamber. Oh. Oh. <sighs> I'm out. But I'm not going to give up. Be not afraid to raise your eyes and you will find the Pharaoh's prize. I am a desert bowler. I cannot swim. If only we had a life preserver. Hold on. Maybe we do. Give me your pants, Alexander. I beg your pardon? Hurry! I read about a sailor who fell overboard but saved himself using his pants. Oh! Like this! Good one, Emily! We're not out of the woods yet. We'll be crushed against the trap doors very soon. Not necessarily! Come on! Alexander! I know, I know! What? Anwar, we found Otep and Kamos's treasure in the boat. We came down that rope before, but it broke. Hmm, let's see. How can we get back up there? All that treasure. I'd give the shirt off my back to get it. Wait! That's it! Give me your shirt! It's pure linen. Linen is excellent for making rope. Oh, what's the use? You've taken my new shirt and trousers. Next thing you'll be wanting my suspenders. Yes, that's right. Oh, and your jacket too. Someone owes me a new wardrobe. Excellent shot, Emily. Oh, I hope I'm not too late to save them. Nick, dry, I'm Ouch! Oh no! <laughs> Otep's treasure! Stolen! <laughs> no tail may think he has Otep's treasure, but he doesn't. Look! This is the real treasure of Otep. No tail's in for quite a surprise when he finds out what's in his boat. Oh! All right, we found the treasure, but how are we ever going to get it out of here? Come on! Hurry! Good. That's everyone. No, it's not. Where's Rabia? She was supposed to wait right here. Ah! Rabia! Over here! Rabia, are you all right? Yes! Oh, and you found the treasure! Congratulations! 
But we don't know how to get it out of here. Don't worry, Emily. I'll just throw us out. This is going to be quite a ride. Believe it. First we lose the tomb, now Rabia. Father! Father! Rabia! Thank goodness you're safe, but where did you come from? We found a treasure! Ahem. I mean, uh, I found a treasure! Hooray! Hooray! Ah! Leave me alone, you overgrown suitcase! Is this a solid gold statue? Wait, it's not treasure, it's bones! <laughs> because of Rabia's success in finding the treasure of Pharaoh Camos, she will hereby accompany us on all future expeditions. In closing, I would like to express the museum's gratitude to Alexander and Emily for their help in saving such a valuable part of Egyptian history. Listen to this. Anwar says that according to a papyrus buried in the tomb, we are related to Otep, the mouse pharaoh. You and I? Related to Egyptian mouse royalty? <laughs> How's this? Do I look like a real Egyptian mouse? <laughs> Absolutely. Why don't we just call you Alexander Tep from now on? I like it. I like it. <laughs> it would be summer here in Australia when it's winter back home in New York. I'm dying from the heat. Hurry, Alexander. If we don't find Jemima soon, we'll miss the mule mail wagon and our ride. Mules? Why not a horse? Or better yet, an automobile? I don't think automobiles have made it to this side of the world yet. Where are those cousins of mine? They're slower than sloths. They'll miss the boat. Or in this case, wagon. Ah, finally! Yoo-hoo! Alexander! Emily! Hello, mates! Yeah, Emily! The wagon! I know! Come on! Gemma! Stop! Do something! Jumping kangaroos! Do something, she says! Easy to say, not so easy to do! Here's what I need! A little music will do the trick! Hurry up, Alexander and Emily, or you'll be singing the blues! Now there's a good idea! Almost there! <laughs> good day, Emily! Welcome to Australia! Hello, Jemima! Now, what's taking Alexander so long? Shoo! Shoo! Ah! No, no! It's my luggage, not food! Okay, keep the coat! I don't need it anymore! <laughs> there are too many birds in Australia! Here! Take my luggage! It's slowing me down! Better to lose. 
lose all my shirts than the one off my back. Oh no! Run, Alexander, or you'll be fishing a billabong! <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> we better give the poor bloke a hand! Easier than running. We've got to get rid of that pesky bird. Come on! Coming! Up at you from down under! Cute as a koala, Alexander. Welcome to Australia. I hope I never hear row, row, row your boat again. Faster, Nicholas. The mail wagon's coming. Gemma and our cousins are on it. We've got to be there to greet them like good Aussies. Whoa! <laughs> this reminds me of the farm back home where I live. The uh, Gemma? Gemma, Amy, Alexander, Emily, this is Amy and her trusted steed, Nicholas. Hello! Come on, Nicholas will give you a ride. You have a very nice farm here, Amy. Thank you, Emily. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else in the world but Australia. Yeah, hey! Jumpy Jalopy is finally ready. Come and see, Amy. It's time for a test drive. That's my father's new toy. It's called an automobile. Oh, we know all about the automobile, Amy. Back in New York, it's the modern way to travel. Now, let's see. First, we'll just crank this here machine up and... We'll crank this baby again. Whoa! One last time. That's a good boy. Hey! Wait for me, you heap of nuts and bugs! <laughs> now, I wonder how you drive this thing. Amy, watch out! Dad! Nicholas! Ouch! Oh no! Stop! 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 Run, mate! Now! That man should learn how to drive before getting behind the wheel. Now, you be careful, Nicholas, and don't you... Ooh, that was close. Ah! First birds, now horses and cars. Dad, stop! Stop! Oh, I'd love to, but how? Give me a mule any day, is what I always say. George, what are you doing? You're scaring the animals! This way! Uh, so far, I don't think I like Australia. Bertha, shoe! Jam shoe, Bertha! Fantastic! <laughs> Dangled auto whatever. Automobile Gemma, also known as the horseless carriage. Don't take it personally, Nicholas. George! George! Are you all right? Did you see that? Did you see? All I saw was you almost getting yourself killed. Not to mention our animals. You're so wonderful, you need a name. How about Nelly? Oh, Daddy. Really? It's not a person or an animal. It's a machine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet we could travel to town in half the time in Nelly. Yes, but I doubt you're going to find a bale of hay where and whenever you want to stop. OK, so I still got some learning to do. I'll say. 
I also need to change her a bit so I can drive Nelly in these hair parts. What's this? Automobiles revolutionise travel? Horses take a back seat. Horses sold off as arrows become the way to travel. Ah, oh, yes. Automobiles are the wave of the future. They could do the work of 20 horses. I guess even our Nicholas is going to be out of a job. Oh, Nicholas! Now, Amy, I know what you're thinking, but don't you worry. Your parents would never get rid of Nicholas. We need him. You're welcome, Nicholas. I hope you're right, Jemima. Poor Amy. She seems so worried that her parents are going to get rid of Nicholas. Well, it's happening all over the world as automobiles become more and more popular. It's progress. That's hogwash. That loud, dangerous machine could never replace Nicholas. He does everything on the farm. Then we'll just have to remind her parents about that. Right. All we need to do is have Nicholas prove how indispensable he is. Then Amy wouldn't have to worry anymore. Come on, let's go tell them our plan. Are you sure you want to do that right now, Alexander? Well, it's nothing a little comb wouldn't fix. Are you sure about that? Ha! Ha! I don't know what I'd do if they got rid of you, Nicholas. Mum read in the paper that people are selling their horses for automobiles. But if Dad really likes Nelly and he uses it all the time instead of you? No, I'm not going to take the chance they might sell you. I'm going to take you someplace safe, to Uncle Arthur's, and right away! Amy! Yoo-hoo! Where are you, gal? That's funny. Amy said she was going to groom Nicholas, so she should be here. Look, a note. What does it say, mate? It's from Amy. She's run away. <gasps> Dear Mum and Dad, Nicholas and I have run away. I don't want you ever to get rid of him, so I've taken him to a place where he'll be safe. Love from Amy. And Nicholas, too. But she knows not to go out in the outback in the heat of the day. It's too dangerous. We have to go find her. Then we'll need Blister. Who? The best tracking dog in all of Australia. Phew. It's hot. Wish I hadn't forgotten my hat. <laughs> What's wrong, boy? Is there something out there? Show you what Nelly can do. That's what we're afraid of. You see, Christine, I'm getting the hang of it. He's getting the hang of it, he says. Amy, come on, we're going to take Nelly for a ride. It's really quite fun, Amy. Now that your father has learned how to drive. Amy? Thank goodness they'll find out she's gone. <gasps> oh, no. George! George! Amy's run away! Going to the outback, taking Nick. What? But I would never get rid of Nicholas. I can't believe she's headed into the outback in this heat of the day. And where's she going? And how will we find her? She's probably gone to Uncle Arthur's. And with these new tires on her, old Nellie will be able to go over any ground. Old Nellie. Amy ran away because of old Nelly. Now... Come on. We don't have much choice but to go with Nelly. You wait and see. Blister will be along in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Jemima? Why'd you wake me up? Because Amy and Nicholas have run away, into the outback to Uncle Arthur's. You've got a tracker, and fast! Well, climb aboard. <clears throat> Blister, say hello to my good mates, Alexander and Emily. Oh. Don't be offended, Emily. I just like to smell all my new friends. Then it's a pleasure, I'm sure. Excuse me. Watch your step, please. Achoo! Gesundheit. I'm sorry. Climb up the side, Alexander. Then off we go, Blister. You just follow Amy's scent. I can't smell a thing, Jebaba. I hope you didn't say what I thought you said. It's my nose. His nose? He's a tracking dog with a problem nose? I think the poor boy's allergic to a certain city mouse. Maybe it's my cologne. Well, forget about tracking her. I'll tell you where to go. I'm sure Amy took the shortcut to Uncle Arthur's. Who's this Uncle Arthur, anyway? He's one of the only people I know who can survive in the outback. He's a person you want to have on your side if you're in trouble. And Amy's in trouble. Head south, Blister, to Divil Stone. I don't like the sounds of that. Whoa! Why didn't Amy's parents go this way? They don't know the shortcut. <gasps> Come on, Nicholas. We'll be safe when we get to Devil Stone. <laughs> Hang on, Christine. We'll put on the gas. Maybe bringing Nelly wasn't such a great idea after all. Amy! I wish we had a horse. No one should be in the outback in the heat of day. Ow! I think there's a flea in my pocket. Well, if you catch them, you don't have to put them back, eh, mate? Terrific! Look! It's Amy's. Without water, she won't last long out here. Dingo tracks. What's a dingo? You're about to find out. Whoa! <laughs> One of those boomerangs. But where are they from? From Uncle Arthur, mates. Uncle Arthur! Not having a good day, Amy? I was a fool to think we could drive in this country. Um, Christine? Don't move. Tell that to him. Come on. Uncle Arthur's is still a long way away. What 
is this place? It doesn't seem real. That's what Uncle Arthur and his people want everyone to think. Ah, yes, the Aborigines. I've read about them in my encyclopedia. The first inhabitants of Australia, an ancient race. This has been our secret place since the beginning, long before people and mice came here on boats. Um, yes, uh, right, um, I, uh, <laughs> excuse me, I've never spoken with a grown-up human before. Well, Uncle Arthur's one of the best humans there is, that's for sure. Amy, you know it's dangerous to travel when it's so hot. And you are lucky the dingoes didn't hurt you. Why have you come? I had to run away. My parents were going to get rid of Nicholas. Now, dear, they never really said they would. Amy, your parents know you love Nicholas, don't they? Yes. Then they would never get rid of him. You should go home to them, Amy. They're probably very worried. I don't know where you are. They're on the way here, in that noisy contraption. But they took the long way. Then we must go look for them. The outback is not the place to be in a noisy contraption. You aren't going to sneeze, are you, Nicholas? How will we ever find my parents? The land can tell you more than you expect, Amy. There they are. And they are in trouble. They've probably not had water for a long while. Please let them be all right. We've been walking for miles. We'll never make it, Christine. Yes, we will. <gasps> Get up, George. We have to climb the tree. I can't even walk and you want me to climb? Run! Run! All this because I had to have one of the first automobiles in Australia. Ah! Christine! Oh, there's no way to run! I'm sorry I ran away, Mum and Dad. Amy, I'd never get rid of Nicholas. There's nothing in the world that compares to a good horse. But how did you find us? And the boomerangs, where did they come from? From Uncle Arthur. Uncle Arthur? You mean he's... Where is he? Then I want to thank him. He's right over... there. Oh, he's gone. Well, we'll just have to thank him next time. Come on, let's go home. You ride Nicholas. Now this is a reliable mode of transportation. But George, what will we do about old Nelly? We'll let her sit in the sun for a while. See how she likes it. You know... It sure would be nice if one day someone gave me a ride. That's not your lot, old mate. I miss Gemma, Amy, Blister and Nicholas already. Watch! I've been practicing. <laughs> This boomerang's going to come in very handy. 